All right, good morning, good morning, good morning. Thanks so much for joining us here this morning the Wealthy, Healthy, Happy Show. I'm your host, ERGJ, your certified financial educator, and we are here live and in the building as we're on day number 28. Oh, man, we're getting to the end of this 30-day mindset makeover challenge. And, uh, you know, it's been a wonderful, wonderful ride, and it's a challenge that you don't just stop, you continue. Uh, and why is that? Well, because you're creating a new habit. Hopefully, you have created a new habit whether that habit is getting up early and starting your day early like we're doing every every morning at uh, 7 a.m., or whether that's uh, some new habit that you created towards your success, towards accomplishing your goal, your dream, or your desire. And so the whole goal of the challenge was to, number one, define what it is that you want. What is it that you want is the question that you have to answer uh, because that is your destination. That is your ultimate goal. That is your big audacious goal. That is your definite major purpose. What is it that you want? What is your worthy ideal? What are you trying to do, create? be or become so it's very important that you that you define that because once you define it then you can once you have it clearly defined then you can think about it and 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 if you can think about it then you can become it because we become what we think about so what is it that you want and 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 make it so clear so real um so evident, so easy to understand and so simple for you that every day you can think about it and you can visualize it and you can gravitate towards what it is that you want. So what is it that you want? Some people get stuck right there. Uh, You know, you ask, uh, you know, if you if you do a survey and ask people what it is that they want, not everyone can tell you really clearly what it is that they want. You can say that I want to make more money, but, you know, making more money you know, you really have to define what that is. What is it, the, the amount that you're going after? What is it that you want to become? What is it that you want? Now, once you have defined what it is that you want, written it down, made the vision clear, know exactly where it is that you're going, know your coordinates for your map, uh, then you want to stay focused on that goal. And that go- and that is there. that's where the challenge really comes is staying positively focused on that goal for 30 days straight. Uh, so you can really see the type of progress that you're making and you can become what it is that you're thinking about. So keep thinking about it. Keep thinking about it. Keep thinking about it. And as you do that, you start to come up with different ways, different strategies, different plans um, in order to obtain or or, or uh, to continue to make progress towards that which it is that you want. So that is the 30 day mindset makeover challenge It's changing your mind to be positively focused on the things that you want. And starting to see progress towards a worthy ideal. Now, it uh, this challenge came from uh, the Strangest Secret by Earl Nightingale. Um, I believe this is one of the um, readings or recordings that everyone should listen to. And I'm quite appalled that it took a long time for me to come across this in my days of of life. And I'm wondering why it wasn't something that was necessary for me to listen to while I was in public school. But you know, you really have to stop asking the question why, and uh, and hopefully you can distribute distribute it to those who really need it. Now, uh, every distraction is popping up. Yes, their distractions will come. Distractions will come. What kind of distractions are you um, running into? So we just had someone that said that every distraction is popping up to prevent her from reaching her goal. Um, now, it, it, now here's the cool thing about distractions. Um, is that they're necessary and 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 why do i say that they're necessary because when you really are going after something great um it's necessary for you to have some type of opposition and the reason why i believe it's necessary is because it really tests the truth it tests to see are you real do you really want it you know what i mean like because a lot of us we can say we want something but it's just a wish it's not there's no desire there's no resolve there's no burning desire to have that which it is or whatever that goal is but when you run up into something it really tests how serious you are or what your resolve is as it relates to your goal like uh you know it's okay to be distracted but will you stay distracted it's okay to run up against something or a challenge but will you overcome or will you keep going um and i know that you uh you, you're writing a book, so I imagine that you have a lot of things that come into your path that uh, that you might enjoy that's going to keep you from staying the course with whatever your schedule is for writing. Um, you got baby shower, daughter's college graduation. Now, come on now. 
a baby shower, how's that a distraction? You knew that was coming up, right? The dollar, the graduation, that's something that you knew was coming up. Now, I'm pro I'm probably sure you're talking about um um all the stuff that goes along with that. Like, I don't know if you're actually planning the baby shower. Yeah, planning. <laughs> exactly what I just said. Planning all of that. Um, for them, you're you're taking the lead role in that, um, and making sure that it's it's a successful shower, it's a successful uh, graduation. I get it. I get it. Um, um. So yeah, but yeah, so you you know, uh, the planning part, uh, you know, as you plan that out, you want to uh, integrate uh, those things that you've now taken the lead on. In the planning phase, and still, and still, make sure that you have your stuff <laughs> that you have planned for your life inside of that schedule, and you stick to that schedule. Now, that can be a little bit uh, more difficult than it seems because some of those other things start to take over, uh, take a little bit more time. Uh, but as you complete those things, as long as you're doing something, um, you know, consistently towards your goal, you're okay. Um, it's only when you, you know, you, you, you say, oh, I didn't have time today to work on my goal. And I think that's a problem, right? If we say that, hey, 24 hours out of my day today, right, I had no time to work on my own goal. That could be an issue. I mean, that really is an issue. Like, I didn't have time to work on the stuff that I have set for myself. I didn't have time to work on the things that are, are going to fuel towards my worthy ideal. Um. So, uh, yeah, writing doesn't come easy. I know. I, I'm not. A, I, I hate to write. Um, this is an arduous task that you're taking on. Um, you got to get in the flow and then stay in the flow in order to get it to all come out. I totally get it. Um, but I think you're making progress. How much, uh, you know, do you have a uh, target as far as a matter of fact, we got someone here. Uh, Miss Rika Darby. She's a she's a she's a writer as well. She may have some tips for you. Um, as it relates to staying on task with your writing, um, I believe she just got through writing a 50,000 word something. She's a writer. So you guys might need to link up. Miss Rika Darn being Miss uh, Miss Kara Karen Ward. Um, she's a she's a writer. She's big into um, big into writing as well. So there might be a connection there and she may be able to give you a few tips or she may want to share some tips with us while we're here. Um, as it relates to getting in the flow, staying in the flow, um, setting aside the time. Uh, draft is due by 1231. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that's like a week away. Uh, that's like next Saturday, I believe, or something like that. Uh, word counts. Yeah. So how many words? Yes, word counts. So how many words do you need to write per day to um, – to accomplish your goal what is your what is your target uh word count and 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 what what's your target how many do you need to write per day in order to reach your your goal um that is very very helpful i didn't even think about that see that's why i'm glad we have a right see see this is how the world functions it's like what you need becomes available when you need it and so she's uh mentioning word counts uh i don't know if you're using that or not but that uh you know you definitely uh you know she may be able to explain that if you don't know what that is or whatever there we go. There we go. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. So today, guys, we're talking about uh, what fields need improving. And, and we're talking about right now some things uh, right now that need to be improved. And and one of them is focus, focusing on that, which it is that uh, we want to accomplish. I know for me that that's 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 an area. I know for many of I, the two things, focus and procrastination, the two, the two of the ones that always come up uh, when I do my coaching with people. Um, because they know what they want, um, but for some reason, uh, everything else in life crowds out the uh, the focus that we need to accomplish to that, which it is what we want. So right now we have someone saying, hey, I have a draft. I have this written draft that I need to do, have completed by 1231. Um, I've got a lot of distractions in my life as it relates to life in general, things that I'm doing, things that I'm taking a lead on. But I still have this date. That's set for me to be done uh, with this draft. And so then you got to say, well, hey, if I have all these distractions during the day, maybe I need to write at night. Um, maybe um, it, it's going to require me to shift my schedule where I stay up an hour later with, you know, when everyone else is asleep so that I can get my writing done. Um, uh, that could be something. 
Um, been writing for 30 days. Fantastic. Um, so you've been consistent in your writing. So, so, so maybe those times where nothing else, it can distract you or times when you can write whatever that, whatever time of the day that might be for you. Maybe it's like you said, you've been waking up at 5 a.m. So if you woke up at 5 a.m. this morning, did you get any, uh, how much writing have you gotten done so far? Um, so maybe it's not, uh, maybe the distraction isn't just the baby shower and the graduation. Um, Maybe the distractions are some other places that you can cut out where you have some of your leisure time and you can get some of your writing done. So you got three pages. Uh, I don't know what that uh, equates to. Uh, I don't know how many pages you're looking to write, but it uh, seems like you got some success done today. What's your goal for the day? To, to How many pages do you want to write for today or have you already reached your goal uh, for today? So what fields do you need to improve? So on Monday, we talked about preparing your field. Um, on Tuesday, we talked about um, seed time and harvest. In other words, so we have this field that has to be prepared for us to plant our seeds. And then we have our seed, which we're going to take and plant in that field. Uh, so we want to have some good ground and we want to take the seed and plant it in our good ground. And, and what we're talking about is this good ground is our attitude. This good ground is our heart condition. This good ground um, is um, is the, everything that's on the inside of us. Um, now, of course, we have other good ground that's outside of us, but um, okay, you're behind, so you'll be right more. Um, but what fields do we know that's on the inside of us that need to be improved in order for us to continue to reach our goal? Um, you know, if it's lack of focus, okay, well, if I recognize what area needs to be improved, what can I implement in order to overcome this area of weakness for me? If it's procrastination, uh, what do I need to improve upon? What actions can I take that can help me to overcome this procrastination where I keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off a day later? I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it in 30 minutes. Uh, what can prompt us uh, and motivate us and, and what's our why um, that we can improve upon this procrastination. We can start to get things done now because I believe that we all have enough time. I don't think I, I don't think a lack of time is our issue because everyone has the same amount of time. It's just a matter of what we are doing with that time. And so are we using that time to improve upon these areas that can help us toward success? Or are we wasting the time and saying and, and using our time to find excuses? Uh, so we can either find um, actions, we can find strategy, we can find planning, or we can find excuses. We can find complaints. We can find all the reasons why we can't do something instead of focusing on all the reasons why we can. And that's very important that we focus on why we can do what we do. So she realizes now that, oh, I'm a little behind. So she's been tracking what it is that she wants to do. And so now she's going to write more. So maybe she's going to write six pages today instead of three or four or five pages instead of three, um, because she's been tracking her progress <clears throat> and she knows her date. She knows what it is she wants to accomplish and she's been tracking along. So now she's in overdrive. She's taking it to another level. And that's OK, too, because sometimes you need that as well. Sometimes you, I, I find that many of us, we perform, we perform best when we're, our back is against the wall. It's almost like, well, hey, you know, I got a month left. OK, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to take it a little easy. I'm going to get some stuff done. But I got a month left. Oh, I got three weeks left. Oh, OK, it's cool. I'm still writing. I'm still doing my thing. I'm creating this new habit. And then you get into the week, you know, two weeks away. You're like, oh, OK, this is serious. I really got to get on the ball. A lot of us, we perform best when our backs are against the wall. I know for me, I used to um, I, I used to I know I had a, a test that was due, uh, you know, in a week or something or a project that was doing a week, man, I will wait until three days before the date to really start working on it because I work best under pressure. It's like I have to put myself under pressure in order to really knock something out. And it's the craziest thing. It's like, well, I could have got that done two weeks ago. And I think that that idea is comes with maturity, right? It's like, oh, OK, now that I'm mature, I realize that I can't always put myself up against the wall. Um, because other things, like she said, like other things, this baby shower, this this graduation, other things can come up in life that are that are important and, and quite honestly could be more important that could cause me to lose the time that I thought that I had 
towards, you know, that I was going to put into accomplishing my task, whatever that is. Um, so, you know, so although we are great at performing under pressure, um, Yeah. So, yeah. So competition. Yeah. So she said another thing that makes me do what I need to do is competition, real or imagined. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, competition is healthy. Um, I, that's why we set up these challenges. Right. It's like, oh, OK, well, now I'm in competition with myself. Like if someone else can do it, then I can do it. Right. And um, and, and really, when I compete against something, it makes me want to win. When I'm challenged, it makes me want to win. It makes me want to say there's no way that I will fail because we are all geared towards success. So when there's a challenge, when there's competition, when we set up something in our mind to say this is what the task is and this is who I, this is my opponent and I'm going to defeat my opponent, it's something about the spirit of competition that pushes us to success. Uh, and there, there always needs to be a challenge. I think sometimes we just don't look at it that way. But when we do, we realize that we can win. And when we realize that we can win, we realize that there is an opponent either imagined or real, then there's something for us to defeat. And there's something about winning. There's something about victory that moves the human spirit. There's something about competition. There's something about the game. There's something about winning. There's something about victory um, that moves the human spirit, that lights a fire in our buttocks. <laughs> well, I, I, and I think that's the test for a lot of people, um, the procrastinating self. The, the belief that I still have time is the biggest, one of the biggest things um, to overcome as a human being, the belief that I still have time. That is just such a false belief because that is playing with life, that there is still time. And really, the only time that we have is now. Uh, we can plan out future events and future tasks, but the reality is all that I have is now. So what am I going to do with now? What am I going to do with now? Now is all I really have. And, and, and I think the moment that we that we say to ourselves that there is no tomorrow, um, that, to, you know, we can say it all day. Right. We know that tomorrow isn't promised. We'll say that all day. We know that we don't control that. But yet and still we still put things off as if there is a tomorrow, as if I'm promised tomorrow. It's like, hey, I know that I'm not promised tomorrow, but I'm going to schedule something for tomorrow because I believe that tomorrow will come even though I know that I'm not promised tomorrow. And so instead of me saying, hey, because I'm not promised tomorrow, I'm going to schedule what I need to do today and I'm going to do it now and I'm going to do it today. Um, we still, in our minds, we still believe that tomorrow is promised. It's like, yeah, all, all day long we can say that, but the reality is we still believe that tomorrow is here. We still have hope for tomorrow. We still believe that we're going to be able to control time and give us tomorrow, even though we know that tomorrow isn't promised. And so imagine, man, what is it like if tomorrow doesn't come? Did we get done today what could have been done today and maximize the time that we really were given, which is right now? And that's really the only promise that we have. So even though I schedule a show for tomorrow, I'm still going to give my best today because today is all I have. And so if today is all I have and this is all that I'm left with, then I want to make sure that whoever get this, gets this message today, they got my best. I'm not going to give I'm not going to plan to give my best tomorrow when my best can be given today. So I guess that kind of leads us into. Will we decide to give our all today, knowing that the, the, the truth is that tomorrow isn't promised? And so as you're writing your book, as you're writing on your pages, as you're saying, OK, I got to get some stuff done, as you're saying, hey, I got to get into the flow. Um, will the belief or the understanding that tomorrow isn't promised fuel you to stay in your flow longer? Will the belief or the realization that tomorrow isn't promised fuel you into staying in your flow longer? 
Because if we don't get to tomorrow and we read your manuscript, whatever it is that you're writing, will we say that, man, she was on to something? She was almost complete. And here's what she gave us. It's all, it reminds me of uh, like um, Bruce Lee in his last movie. Um, and obviously, if you don't know the story of Bruce Lee, he was killed before he finished his movie. Uh, and they were able to edit enough out in order to get his movie complete. But he still gave what he had that day in order to for them to kind of facilitate. Even, uh, I guess, the latest, uh, the latest uh, idea would be, um, yeah, his shirt. I know, right? Um, uh, the latest would be Paul Walker, right? Paul Walker had an unfortunate accident. But, you know, um, <clears throat> before he passed, he gave his all to that cast and to that movie that day. So will you give your all to your manuscript? Will you give your all to your book? Will you give your all today? Because tomorrow really isn't promised. And um, and and I want to make sure, and I hope, and, and, and maybe you're the same way. You're saying, hey, um, this day, I want to make sure that I leave it all on the line so that if someone was to um, look at my day, if someone was to record today's events and this recording was all that I had left to leave my family, leave my friends, leave, um, <clears throat> leave on my tombstone, they're going to say that, man, this was a day, this was a guy or this was a lady or this was a woman, this was a man who every day they gave it their all. Every day they maximize the time that they had. I don't know why. I feel like I'm going deep today, man. <laughs> every day I gave it my all. And I can say for myself that every day I haven't um, given it my all. Um, I, I paid attention and I realized, though, that um, that I want to be that guy that that they say that hey man he 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 really went after it and and I and also I imagined in my mind man what does really what does me going after it really looks like look like and what does that produce um, I've known in my life when I've really gone after it, I know those times when I have and I ask myself and I and I and I and I you know before I go to bed that that can I duplicate that energy can I duplicate that effort can I duplicate um, that motivation that moved me, that pushed me to that place of no matter what. And that's the title of one of my keynote speeches is no matter what, because no matter what, um, my life is really in my hands, right? It's, 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 it's really, I'm the captain of my own, uh, ship. I am the, uh, the controller of uh, where I head and where I divert my energy is ultimately where I'm going to land. But no matter what, man, no, no matter what, no matter the, uh, uh, the, 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 the obligations or the responsibilities to the baby shower, no matter, um, you know, the coordinating that I'm doing for, uh, the, uh, uh, for the graduation, no matter uh, the issues that I'm having, uh, you know, currently dealing with these relational issues, no matter all of that, um, I'm going to get this done. This is this is a top priority for today. This is a top priority for now. It's got to be fit in no matter what. Because this is my dream. This is my goal. This is my desire. This is what I've been called to do. So no matter what. Now, when we say that, sometimes we're going to, you know, we're going to tick some people off. We're going to we're going to ruffle some feathers. We're going to lose some friends. Um because everyone doesn't have the attitude of no matter what. Um, everyone doesn't have that that attitude of 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 no matter what. Uh, you know, um, some people's attitude is no matter what. I'm gonna smoke this blunt today, <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> so, uh, so you know, so where are we going to uh, align um, our top priorities? If this is the top priority, um. Then as time goes on throughout your day, if you haven't completed your top priority, then something else has got to be uh, removed. Something else has got to, you know, slide down that scale. So uh, Rika Darby just says you got into a writing software, just got Scrivener. I'm looking forward to learning it. Lots of people seem to love it because it helps with productivity and such. So guys, you guys need to follow each other. Um, you know, I know Rika, you got Scribe Kick. 
Um, and I see you uh, providing uh, quite a few tips um, as it relates to uh, you and being successful in writing. Uh, what you guys can do is up at the top, if you highlight uh, one another's, uh, you know, profile uh, or you know, whatever, you can follow each other on here and then, uh, and then you know, find, you know, click on the Twitter handle and follow each other on Twitter and stay in touch. Um, you guys have something in common. And I'm a connector, by the way. I connect people, um, you know, so that you guys can collaborate towards success. There may be some things in the future um, that you might do. Um, you know, you might write your book and, and maybe Rika can revise it for you or she can proofread it or whatever the case may be. I'm not quite sure, um, but there may be something there. And I want you guys to, to stay in touch. At any rate, this is the Wealthy, Healthy, Happy Show. Um, I'm all off topic. Uh, that, you know, when it comes, it comes. You just kind of let it go. Um, but, you know, what fields do you need improving? And, and, and today we really talked about no matter what. Now, of course, uh, you can follow us on uh, WealthyHealthyHappy.net. That is a place for you to kind of kind of tune in uh, to what's going on, this movement uh, that we have going on. Um, it's really a place uh, where if you're just now getting started with your mindset makeover, you can always go back and uh, connect and follow what we have done. Um, that is uh, a place for you to kind of ca ca capture and keep up with what has already occurred. Uh, we also have a YouTube channel. Um, so all of our previous recordings are there. Uh, for you to, to, to pick up on as well. Um, you can find the link to the Strange Secret there as well. Uh, you can connect to uh, some of our products and services. We have a service called Future by Design, which we uh, help you to um, do some of the things that we did today to really get unstuck and to define the next five years of your life. I know that Rika Darnby is going through that process. Um, it's really helped her to get on track uh, and, and challenge herself and put her into that competition mode with her best self. I mean, what it would be like, guys, think about this. If right now you competed with your best self, who would win? <laughs> if you were in competition right now and relates to going towards your goal, whatever that is, whatever your definite major goal is, if you were in competition right now with your best self, your absolute best self, think about the time in your life when you were your absolute best, when you had all of the energy, we had all of the motivation, when you were you know, you had to no matter what attitude. And I want you to picture that person against whoever you are right now in this state, this moment right now, and ask yourself, if we were in competition towards this goal that we're seeking, who would win? That's the person that you should be in competition with every day. Your best self. You're not competing with, uh, you know, Joe Blow or Susie Q. You're competing with your best self because it's your best self that's going to produce your best results. It's your best self that's going to produce your best harvest. It's your best self that's going to um, cultivate the best relationships in your life. It's your best self. And if you're in competition with your best self, I'm challenging you to defeat your best self. I'm challenging you to win against your best self. I'm challenging you to victory against your best self. Ryan Roy, thanks so much for joining. Um, all good. Uh, we are here. What the Healthy Happy Show, man. This is our time. We're here Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. Um, you know, I'm still trying to decide whether we're going to do um, Christmas or not. I know we did Thanksgiving. Maybe we're going to do Christmas. This is all good. Yes. Uh, it's on with my. Yes. Let's change it right now. It's on with my best self. That is so powerful, guys. Um, if you say that every day, if you look in the mirror right now, you say that. I mean, you know, like right now I'm looking in Blab, right, and I can see myself, and I'm saying it's on with my best self. If you were to do that, man, get in front of that mirror and say it's on with my best self, man. That can change your day. That can change your life. It's on with my best self. Man, I need everybody to type that into the comments below. It's on with my best self. Man, I really need, I need to see some exclamation points with it and everything. It's on with my best self. Oh, we got Miss oh, Beatles here. Bill. Hey. <laughs> Thanks very much for joining. Um, 
Yes, it's on with my best self. It's on with my best self. Yes, 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 it's on with my best self, man. And so today you go out, you go, you go and fight, you go and you go and scratch and claw. You say my best self isn't gonna win because I'm creating what? I'm creating a new best self. I'm creating, I'm going, I'm taking my best self to another level. That's what I'm doing. Mr. Beatles. Oh, oh, no voice, no audio. Can't hear you, can hardly see you, brother. Uh, I know you're probably talking. No, wait, I can't hear you. Uh-oh, we've been having all types of issues this morning, brother. So anyway, guys, um, I think Mr. B is trying to talk, man. We, we can't hear him. Uh, living your purpose is just joined. So this is what we do, guys. It's on with my best self. Uh, we're talking about making sure that um, um, that as we compete against our best self, that we win. Because we know that there's been times in our life, we know when those times are, where we have seen our best self, we have seen our best effort, we have seen our best energy, we have seen our best motivation. And we're just putting that image... Mr. Beatles. Hey, hey, wealthy, healthy, happy people. Guess what? Uh, this is what it looks like when you oversleep. <laughs> right there. That is exactly what that looks like right there, man. Um, man, I apologize for being late. And um, man, this, I was meditating, uh, call myself meditating. Guess where I should have been? Outside of the bed when I was meditating. This morning, I was like, you know what? I'm going to meditate, but I'm going to just meditate right here in the bed. And uh, man, I did. I got up, I meditated, and then next thing I know, it's seven twenty-seven. I'm like, oh snap! But being my best self, guess what I did? I said, you know what? I cannot miss this opportunity uh, to get on this show and um, give it my best. That's what we do, man. Hey, man. This <laughs> <laughs> best self, absolutely, every single day. It's a it's a war, man. It's a war every single day. See, because you have the um, you got the guy that's on the inside that always wants to be just real comfortable. They don't want to do too much more than what he already knows he should be doing because that's what he has been taught. He's been taught to be real comfortable in life. And the uh, the the best self, the one that is growing, the one the one that's much more articulate, the one that's much more courageous. Um, the one that's adventurous and and um, wants to do more, be more, have more. That guy is always trying to get the other guy on the inside of you to do more, be more, have more, and that's a struggle every single day, man. Every day. Jeez, Louise, I can't believe it. Turn hey, the light on. <laughs> the light on, and do we get, man? I'm in. I'm, I, I don't. I'm not even in my studio. Okay, first of all. Uh, hold on, let me go to the bathroom. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. That's what I'm gonna do. I wonder if I can. Oh, shit. I can't do that. Do that. Let me go to the bathroom. Man, the, the critics, the critics out here, there's no love in the heart of the city. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So here's a good thing, guys, is that, um, you know, no matter what, you know, as other people say that no matter what, no matter if it's 727 or not, <laughs> oh, I should know. I, I want to make sure that, uh, you know, uh, I, that I speak to my people. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Looks like a dark scope. Uh, oh, I don't know. Was that, was that, a, uh, was that a racist comment? What? <laughs> 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 Thank you, Beyond Two LLC. I appreciate it. <clears throat> no, man, but it is, man. It is. It's truly about. Um, it's a, at the end of the day, man. It's about showing up. It is. And you gotta be able. You gotta show up every single day, man. You gotta show up every day. Um, and you do. You have to do absolutely your best. And um, and you can't feel. You can't feel bad when you fall short. You can't. Um, for whatever reason, 
you are where you are because that's where you are right now. But the guess what? But you can change it. You can do different. You can be more. You can do more. You can have more. But it starts with the first step. It starts with you showing up. Ain't that right, action man? It starts with you showing up, man. It starts with you doing what you said you were going to do when you said you were going to do it. That's when it starts. That's what you got to do. Man, I feel good. I feel good. I feel good that I did not miss today. I do. I really feel good. <laughs> Yeah, man, I would have, I would have, I would have, oh, man. So here, here's the thing, man, and here's, I think, the lesson. I think the lesson that, that can come from that, not, not you know, um, because it would have been easy for you to just say, oh, I missed the show. It would have been easy for you to do that, and you could have justified it. You could have, you know, made your remarks and just said, oh, I'll be on tomorrow, man. You know, it could have been easy for you to do that. Uh, you know, but what was it easy to say, hey, regardless of no matter what, no matter what time it is right now, I'm still going to show up, even though I might, you know, might have overslept or whatever. Maybe you need an extra little bit of sleep. But when you woke up, you said that, hey, there's still time. And uh, because there's still time, I'm going to show up. That's right. That's right, man. Like, man. And and uh, I mean, it's, it's a little embarrassing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I still got cold in my eye. I got, you know what I mean? I ain't, I ain't brushed my teeth yet. I don't know if you can smell my breath. But um, <laughs> end of the day, end of the day, you got to show up. And that's one thing that I have. That's one thing I've learned this year is that you have to show up. I've had some opportunities where um, maybe, I, maybe I didn't think I was um, as prepared as I should have been. Maybe I didn't, um, I, I thought that maybe I didn't have the, um, uh, uh, the education of the background, but, and, uh, and I was presented with opportunities and I could have made every excuse not to, um, not to do a thing, but, um, I chose to go, I chose to go. And, um, when I did, the outcome was always much, much better than I thought it was. And, um, and it was because I showed up, man. I showed up, I put my best foot forward and then I let God handle the rest. And man, when you got that, when you got the big guy on your side, huh? Who can stop you? Nobody. Show up. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, guys, when we talk about showing up, one place that you can show up is on WealthyHealthyHappy.net. Uh, you can continue to follow us, subscribe, uh, take a look at everything that's going on there, become a part of the community, um, and continue to show up Monday through Friday, 7 a.m., uh, to this show, 30 minutes uh, of pack with inspiration and motivation to help you get your day going. Um, they say it like this. They say nothing great has ever been accomplished without at least a little inspiration. And so hopefully you're right. getting some inspiration. Uh, there's a reason why you're here today and there's a reason why you continue to show up. And we're going to continue to show up for you. Uh, we're going to continue to make this thing grow and be big and be great uh, uh, with one another. We're going to continue to say it's on with my best self. It is on. With my best self, it's on with my best self. On, oh, oh. <laughs> I have a new song. Yeah, man. Nah, I do. I feel good. This was this was great. This was better than being on time this morning. Um, because I needed that. I needed it. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, guys, that is our time today. We'll be back again tomorrow, 7 a.m. Eastern time on the Wealthy Healthy Happy Show. Uh, we are wealthy, we are healthy, we are happy. And we are out. Have a good day, guys.